happening YTTC George 416 Piper out here doing a second VR uh, smoking my Molina bent bitter with C and D good morning I'm about a quarter down the bowl and I am starting to get a little bit of sweetness uh, very smooth retro hail it's a very very light um, I think it's an English blend. I don't really taste too much lot of tea. I don't get the, the smokiness, but it's very light. Uh, I'll probably go into it more once I've had a few more bowls, uh, maybe at a later date. But this video is a VR for Steve at Smoking Cardboard. Uh, Steve has just surpassed 200 subs, I believe, or. Yeah, he's, he's past the 200 subs. Um, I love his channel. Uh, I love how he just talks about life. He's down to earth. Uh, he's a pretty talented woodworker. Um, I believe for this god that he's doing right now, he's got a couple of stands that he's made. I believe one's going out to the commenters, and the other one's going to go out to... Uh, so the, co the first one's going to go out to the commenters, that's him commenting on previous videos and then the second stand that he made for the gods when he's going out to people who either add a comment or do a VR something along those lines you're gonna have to go check out his channel I'll leave the link below great guy uh, good content as well um, for his giveaway he wanted to know uh, something uh, that we were given as a gift in our childhood so up until the years I guess up until we turn 17 and I have two that actually come to mind oh, went out. too much talk miles good so the first one I remember was I can't remember how old I was I was maybe seven or eight maybe and my uncle had given me a remote controlled uh, rig like a little tractor trailer and uh, I was so excited to get it I remember it was red it was pretty cool I came with a remote and everything and I'm like playing with it but at that age I was um, curious about how things worked mechanically and uh, I had a habit of taking my toys apart and then putting them back together but in this case I took it apart but then I couldn't figure out how to put everything back together so needless to say it stopped working my parents weren't too pleased But they told me, if anybody could fix it, it's probably your uncle, the person who gave it to you. You're going to have to beg them to fix it. So getting the courage to go to my uncle and apologize for first taking it apart and then asking him to put it back together it took quite a bit. But I went, I brought it to his house, and I... <laughs> begged for forgiveness and I asked him if he'd fix it and he first thing he says are you going to take it apart again and I'm like no so he did manage to put it together and he got it to work and I was all happy again and then I don't know how much longer the toy lasted after that but that was one of the memorable toys that I remember getting the second uh, 
memorable gift that I got was from my mother, I believe it was for my birthday, and that was an AM FM uh, radio with headphones, so uh, an early version of the Walkman, but it was made by Sanyo, so it wasn't actually a Walkman, and all it had was AM and FM radio, and I must have been around 10, because I believe... I was listening to a lot of Tina Turner, Private Dancer, and uh, What's Love Got to Do f With It. And I remember I was so happy to get these headphones that I was like walking around the block listening to the music with so loud and I was just happy as like a pig in shit uh, with these headphones. I really liked it. I actually did manage to find a picture of uh, what they kind of look like. It wasn't exactly the same, but I will put that picture up for you guys to see. Um, Steve, congratulations on all the sub. Uh, love your channel. I'm sure you'll get a lot more also soon. Um, good luck with the gaw. Thank you for the gaw. Uh, I hope those uh, memories are enough, and uh, I hope everybody's doing well. And remember, when you smoke a pipe, you smile at life. Cheers. Take care. Bye.